This afternoon, the Richmond community is mourning the loss of eight-year-old Ryan Akagbusi. The little boy with autism was found dead in a pond Sunday morning. Detectives say he left his home by himself on Saturday. Right now, the sheriff's office is reminding parents there are resources out there if you're worried about a child wandering away from home. Now, Troy Kless joins us live in the Lakemont community where Ryan was found. Troy, what have you learned? Well, we've learned that the community is taking this really hard. The lake behind me is where deputies say that tragedy occurred. And you can actually see behind me in there are some tributes to Ryan. You see on either side there are some ribbons tied to many different trees all near the pond. And down by the lake, you can see that there are balloons that are also set up in memory. Today, I spoke with the Fort Bend County Sheriff who says that there are some tools that could potentially avert another death. More than 24 hours after eight year old Ryan was last seen, Texas EquiSearch found his body in a pond not far from the little boy's home. It was very tragic and it, it, it affected a lot of people, the family most of all. Fort Bend County Sheriff Eric Fagan says his department had help from other agencies in the search for Ryan, who family described as an independent little boy. His mom says he was last seen Saturday around 4.30 a.m. Security cameras later picked him up walking barefoot through the Lakemont neighborhood. But I want everyone to know the mother did everything she could to keep that child safe. She even had a camera in his bedroom to keep him safe. But Sheriff Fagan says there are other technologies that can help. Project Lifesaver offers radar activated devices to parents for free, meant not just for children with autism, but adults with Alzheimer's or other cognitive disabilities. If someone's lost, on average, we find these people in less than 30 minutes. 30 minutes, once they're lost and uh, we know that they're monitored, we put in that frequency and we go out, even it's hooked to our helicopters. The American Academy of Pediatrics says nearly half of children with autism go missing, with a substantial number at risk for drowning. Investigators say water is a sensory stimulus that can be attractive to children with autism, which is why the sheriff encourages parents to have every tool possible to help law enforcement. If he would have had that monitor within that time period, in between those two times, when he was lost and then an hour later when we saw him on camera, we may have could have found him. May have. This is not a guarantee. But why not better your odds? That are registered for this program. And if you're interested, you can go to KHOU.com or also contact your local sheriff's office or police agency. Reporting live in Richmond, Troy Kless, KHOU 11 News. Thank you so much, Troy, for that.